So I'm going back to where it all began, for me anyway at least. Uh, it started getting interesting around tier 5, so I decided it would be a nice idea to do a tier 5 series based on the tier 5 boats that really define my style of play and what I enjoy most about World of Warships. Um, all I can say about this tier is if you miss all the excitement and closeness of a really good match in random play, tier 5 is kind of where it's at. You can have some very, very close matches. Now, I realize that a quantity of the ships are bots, but more and more people are going to Tier 5 and having fun there. And I've played enough matches to realize that, yeah, World of Warships is alive and well and having great fun at Tier 5, Tier 6, and Tier 7. Anyway, without much ado, let's have a look at the Minikaze. This was one of the first torpedo boats that really inspired me. Uh, we have a 14-point captain, because the original 21-point captain for my Minikaze is now in my Shimakaze, of course. Uh, but this guy, I started him as a rank 6 and built him up to level 14 or rank 14. And you can see we've got the classic torpedo boat build going on here. Preventative maintenance, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert, and then of course adrenaline rush. Then after that you would add fill the tubes, radio location, and finish with liquidator. Of course you can mix that up a bit. If you, if you don't need the RPF, you could take, for instance, Swift Fish and maybe spend your other two points on something meaningful like priority target. Your choice. But that's how I that's how I build my torpedo boat captains. So what do we got? We've got uh, four guns, four 120 millimeter guns, main battery, 120 millimeter guns with a range of 8.9 kilometers. Uh, fortunately, we have smoke. Uh, you won't be using these much, but they're great for finishing off low hit point targets. And, of course, defending yourself against the inevitable clash with another destroyer. Torpedoes-wise, we have three twin launchers. Which kind of gets you used to the whole idea of having three launchers, three torpedo launchers. Because, of course, the Shimakaze has three. They're just twins, or five. Five torpedo launchers. Three of them. And, of course, uh, the Fabuki, I believe, was a 3x3 three three affair, so 3 and 3. And these are 3x2, so you're getting used to the idea of launching your torpedoes in 3s, groups of 3. They're not very long range, they're not very quick, but then at Tier 5, no eyes the competition. There aren't that many fast ships at Tier 5. There are more now than there used to be, but for the most part, you'll be going after battleships and so 60 knots is very very acceptable and the damage at tier 5 is pretty good 10,833 damage which is not bad at all of course we have the inevitable depth charges for submarine maneuvers not that you're going to see many submarines at tier 5 but if you find yourself dragged into a tier 6 match you might get to use them uh, the AA defense is non-existent basically there's a guy standing on the deck with a pistol an AA defense of 11 so you know turn it off leave it off hide in smoke uh go find a cruiser with AA uh, maybe turn it on to make yourself look like you're trying but I wouldn't recommend it that much the AA is bloody awful <laughs> the maneuverability is where this ship shines she, uh, uh, don't get me wrong her torpedoes aren't bad and she gets smoke but a max speed of 41 knots, which with the speed booster heads you up to 44, 45 knots, which is sort of shimikaze speed. So again, getting you used to the idea of maybe graduating eventually to the shimikaze at tier 10. The detectability range by sea is an incredible 5.4 kilometers, which is one of the smallest in the game. Detectively by uh, range by depth, 2.3 kilometers. Detectively range by air, 2.3 kilometers. Assured detectively range, 2 kilometers. So X-ray at 2 kilometers. 
But she is a rather fine little torpedo boat. Okay, so. Let's have a look at the equipment. I typically run main armaments modification one, because why, why not? All those bonuses on all those items. Torpedo tubes and main battery survivability improves. Repair time, etc. Now, I mean, if I really wanted to take full advantage of that speed boost, I'd probably... Uh, what would I run here? I wouldn't run that. I would run engine boost modification one, of course, if I had the spare coal. But uh, tier five, I'm not spending coal. I... I prefer my call for other projects at the moment so she's not high on my priority list but engine boost modification one even though it'd be great so for now i've sucked the engine room protection in because you really don't want to become incapacitated and that increases the uh, well makes that le risk less likely gives you good repair etc but i digress and we got torpedo tubes modification one again Increases your torpedo speed, hence the 60 knots. Torpedo tube traverse speed, and the risk of the torpedo tubes becoming incapacitated is reduced considerably by minus 40%. Okay, you've got your smoke, you've got your speed boost, and you've got your damage control party. As for flags, when I'm just grinding credits and messing around, and I'm not doing competition, I usually only run... Uh, the Julia Charlie signal and the Sierra Mike signal for the speed boost plus five percent and for the uh, elimination of any risk that I'm going to explode if someone shoots me because it's nothing more embarrassing in my eyes but run what you like is all I'm saying uh, usually I would run about eight flags on this ship if I was in uh, rank but went in random a couple couple of flags because it's a precious resource hell don't run any flags at all if you like you, you know save those flags for competition for clan battles for rank that sort of thing okay right I think it's time we took her for a spin so we'll do just that so in this random match on ring in domination mode, we have five battleships, three cruisers, and five destroyers aside. Did I say three cruisers? Two cruisers. Two cruisers aside, five battleships, five destroyers, so 12 aside. Okay. So I'm having a look at A. Minikaze on my team is strong. We have more than one. There's three of us. Quite a popular boat. And I'm making my, my way towards A, thinking about using the island in front of me for cover. There's no point in taking any pointless risks, so we won't be doing that. It's not a good idea to charge a cap in at any tier, really. Uh, that said, with 5.4 concealment, it makes sense to get in close and start lighting targets for my team. Which is something that Minakaze is really good at. And as you can see, I'm already doing a nice, healthy 41 knots. Okay, so on the far flank, we have the New York, the Argentina, the Minikaze, and the Nicholas going for D. In the center, we have a Danan, a uh, Wakeful, Kong, or oh, Koenig, a Kong, Koenig, and a Rio de Janeiro. And above me, I have, well, behind me, the Bretage and the Orion. And with me, a fellow Minikaze. But it's probably just lit that Omaha. As you can see, those launch in pairs. I just sent them up the middle just in case. Pr perspective, as it were. And I just got lit by that Mizuki over there. So I'm smoking up because I don't want to start my match by getting sunk. But as you can see, it's going to be a battle of the uh, stealth boats. Yeah, chuck some torpedoes into that smoke. 
think I've got those a bit close to the corner. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. They've got quite a lot of ships over here. And here come the retaliating thoughts. Okay. So the Masuki is moving in through here. I'm just ghosting him. As you can see, these torpedoes reload really fast. Very, very fast. Which is another reason why I like the Minikaze. Very fast torpedo reload. Okay, we just pop those there. Ah, he slowed down and moved away. Oh, no, he turned in. He's chasing. <laughs> He's chasing me. Okay. And we've already lost a ship, the Wakeful. Sunk by their Durflinger. Okay, our Nicholas took out the Shen Yang. The Durflinger has taken another scalp in our Danai. So we're now down a couple of ships. Seeing some potential torpedo targets over here, assuming that they move in and they don't move away, but they're moving away. <laughs> they're all moving away. <clears throat> Okay, our minikaze got their New York. The Durflinger takes another scalp. And there goes our Nicholas. Oh, he's turning away again. Yeah, it's hard to punish ships that are turning away. Your torpedoes aren't very long range, so you're really looking for targets that are pushing in. Ships going into a cap are great. Oh, hello, Mitsuki. How you doing, buddy? You see, the guns aren't terrible, but I just missed with all four shots. <laughs> the rust is real. I haven't played this ship in a long time, but I'm sure it'll all come back to me soon enough. Meanwhile, our fleet continues to sink. The Koenig has taken out the Visby to even things up a bit for us, but with five ships down to their three. Oh, good, no good lord, there goes another one. And my first scout. Took out the Mitsuki with a lucky torpedo. Throw enough torpedoes into smoke, sometimes you get lucky, right? And it's game on. Hmm. Okay, so again, those battleships. Looks like they're pushing in. However, we're, our score's 250, theirs is 366, so we need a cap, we need a cap. We definitely need a cap. I've, I've lost the interest in the battleships for now, because I'm thinking we need to make up some points somewhere.
Yeah. There goes our Minikaze. So there's now just five of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go on this camp. There he is. There's a Mizuki I was after. I hope those are better than the last shots. One hit. Very high parabola on these, or parabola on these guns. They seem to, uh, the shells seem to go quite high in the air. Which is a bit of a problem. I've got to aim lower to the waterline to get hits, basically. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's a Mitsuki dealt with anyway. So we get B. And then I push back. Maybe spot for the rear de Janeiro. We've managed to even things up a bit, which is good. When we get this cap, we'll help with the points. As you can see, I mean, I'm having a tier 5 match here, and I'm really having to think about it. It's close. The teams are well matched. And this is going to be a difficult, a difficult battle. An exciting battle. A fun battle. We've now got all to play for with 10 minutes to go. Oh, hello. Oh, God. It's my friend, the Durflinger. The, oh, God, the destroyer of our team. This guy's got three or four frags, hasn't he? God help me. Okay, well, if you ever find yourself in this situation... Banzai! <coughs> Banzai. He's gonna fire again, isn't he? Ow. Okay, let's let him have it, boys. And there we go. Good grief. Okay. There's another ship down. I suspect that was their star player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going in the sea, as you can see. A uh, sailor went to CCC to see what he could CCC, but all that he could CCC was the bottom of the deep blue CCC. Yeah. Yeah. So, get this cap. And... We're pulling ahead. I see a possibility of a win here. New player. The Revolutioner. Taken out Minakaze. So we lost our Minakaze. So I'm the only one left on the team. The only destroyer in the game at the moment. Alright, those torps look good, don't they? I think he's going to avoid them. Yeah, okay. Okay.
Well, let's set up to A. And if I'm fortunate enough, this battleship might let me torpedo him again. Just in case he turns in, which is highly unlikely, but... Yeah, I've seen stranger things. He is turning in a bit, isn't he? Okay, let's send another spread. As you can see, 35 second reload speed time. Because the adrenaline rush has kicked in. Yeah. So I'm getting a full spread every 35 seconds now. Which is another reason why I love the mini cars, eh, to be honest. Okay, they're capping B. Should have that soon. I'm sending more torps. Ah, they ran out. They ran out. And he's moving off cap now. Okay. All right. So it's 4v4, we're ahead on points, barely ahead on points. It's very close, one ship could make all the difference here. And he slowed down. 35 second reload on those torps, I still can't believe that. Oh, that armor, Omaha's low. Right, Omaha is low. Let's have a look at you. Dare I use the terrible guns that I'm rubbish with? Two hits! Wow. We actually hit him twice. I'm happy with that. Another hit. Yay! Every hit's a bonus. Okay. Oh no, he's firing back. Not allowed to fire back, son. Okay. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. Hmm. Two hits and a fire. Which he put out immediately. Okay. Have a fire and he's down. Well, I'll be damned. What was that, three hits? I guess I'm getting used to these guns now, right? <laughs> these bloody guns. Oh, man. Ah, finally. Okay, okay. So it's three of us versus two of them. Hmm. Okay. And we have a marginal lead on points. See what I mean about tier 5 though. This is close. This has been nail biting. It's been exciting for me. I hope it's a bit as exciting for you as it has been for me. Uh, it's been close. It's been tight. I've been trying to get my head around the uh, tier 5 guns. The torps, great. The guns, oh my god. But we've been getting there. We've been getting there. I mean, I did sink that Omaha, right? I don't know. Arguably, it only had 1500 hits left, but okay. I'll take, I'll take it. I'll take anything I can. So, we're on A. Okay. Huh. Yeah, our other Minikaze got three sinkings before he, he bailed out on us. So, I'm going to try and beat that if I can. The Revolutionary, or Revolutionary as I call it, is in the middle. He's thinking about going between the islands, isn't he? And we need this cap. Oh, they're going to win in five minutes. 
five and a half minutes. Although the match is going to be over in two, less than three minutes anyway. So, getting close and tight. It's gone the distance this game, hasn't it? I think our Koenig's in trouble. Is he going to sink the Koenig? Yeah. Okay, that makes me prime target. Right, he's got a couple of options here. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but... If he goes north to A, I'm going to leave him a little surprise, and we'll see. We'll see what happens with those. Dang, he almost got me. <laughs> and if he goes low... I'll be reloaded and ready to torp him again. So he'll either turn in or he'll go up. And it's just two two of us versus two of them. With our New York sitting on B. Okay. Cool. So where is the revolutionary? Hmm. Where is he? Did he go low? Is he sailing into my torpedoes as we speak? Oh, hello? <laughs> okay. All right. I had about a 20, 30% prediction chance there, and it paid off. Okay, so I got my four. I've got four of them down. Excellent, excellent. Let's see if we can make it five. Let's see if we can get a craft. What a match. What a match. I mean, what, we've got one minute left? One minute left, and we're just ahead on points? Only about 100 points up the road from these guys. Less than 100 points up the road from these guys, actually. Okay. It's been close. It's been close. You, you just don't get matches of this quality regularly enough at Tier 10, do you, boys? You know? Or girls, for that matter. Tier, tier 10... Takes me ages. Literally, first match in a Minikaze in, like, six months, and this happens. <laughs> <laughs> this incredible match happens. First match in six months. Wow. Just wow. Been delicious. Been amazing. What a match. What a match. So I can thoroughly recommend Tier 5. I have a lot of love for the ships at Tier 5. And I will continue this series and do some more Tier 5 matches in various, various ships that I uh, have fallen in love with over the years. Assuming I don't bore you all to death with my commentary. <laughs> my commentary. Okay. Okay. So we won. We won. That was brilliant. Let's see how we did. Let's see how it, it went. Okay. 304,000 credits. That's not bad. 43,632 damage. 11,483 experience. 2,414 free experience. It's four sinkings. Top of the team. Good XP. 23 kill on the Durflinger. You know what? Not bad, right? Not bad. Six torpedo hits four floodings. Thank you for watching.